Welcome. Welcome, my divine dragon family. Hello. Thank you all so much for um, joining us in this space. So today is 11.22, and we're culminating the energies from 11.11. During 11.11, I was actually in Argentina there with about 1,400 plus people to anchor the energy from Egypt to Argentina. And this is a 12,000-year-old uh, journey from Atlantis in bringing back the planetary network of consciousness. And the divine dragons have been working through me over the last couple years uh, to help me bring through this energy and information to just share it with others so others can also come into their power and their divine truth, whatever that looks like. For you and activating your own soul memories so just bringing more people in hello so to, so please stay on with me while we get everyone in and um please if you have any questions you can write them in the chat but also uh just stay on till the end because we'll do some sharing um so today the format i'm good, just going to share a little bit about more about what's been coming through me with the divine dragons why i work with them how you can work with them and then i will share an activation and we will all do this together uh, wherever you're located if you want to share where you're located in the chat too that would be great so we can get an idea of where everyone is around the world because we're anchoring these energies wherever we're located and inviting the divine dragons to awaken in our regions through us as, as portals of consciousness. Okay, we've got California, London, Germany. Amazing. Oh, to Germany, boy in Germany. I'm located in Arizona, Greece. Yay. So I'm in Sedona, Arizona, and this is where the Divine Dragons first started communicating through me um, in the Red Rocks here uh, and it was through different ceremonies and different journeys that I started to have this conscious come through me and this consciousness came through me so that I could truly reclaim my power from previous lifetimes and from this lifetime where I'd actually given my energy away um, to bad relationships to the matrix and I lost my sovereignty but I had to stake my responsibility in in doing that and also admit that i was not a victim actually i willingly uh, gave away my power and gave away my energy to circumstances and the divine dragons came through and taught me how to reclaim my power and also choosing to to stake that i'm here i am powerful I know myself, I know my energy, and I'm going to allow this consciousness to stream through me and speak my truth and share my truth with others so that all living beings on earth can be heard. Because right now, there's a lot of beings here on the planet that their voices have been taken away from them. They're unable to speak their truth. And so we're here to liberate our own voices and liberate our own consciousness so that maybe we can help somebody else who whose voice needs to be heard. So hopefully that makes sense. We got Las Vegas too. All right, does anyone have any any questions before we dive in a little deeper to just creating a safe ceremonial space to communicate with the divine dragons so you can receive this activation okay so i like to work with crystals and i like to work with the elementals and the elements so i bring in some type of incense or candle i have my lovely dragon crystals i like to work with 
and I, I will take these outside to places in nature and, and place them on the earth and just tune in to the trees and tune into the nature that's around me to start to call these beings in. Um, I also have sacred waters that I brought back from Argentina during our activation there that's continuing today. So the, uh, today is 1122. That is the culmination of this portal that is open. And today is really like the last day until um, the year 3000 uh, that we're going to have a portal that is significant, as significant as this one. Okay. So if we're all ready to just drop into the activation, I'm just going to invite you to find a comfortable position with a straight spine and just starting to open the body up, stretching. You can give yourself a light massage, rolling the neck, just coming into the present moment. Anchoring your energy here and now. And just giving the body some love and respect and gratitude for housing your spirit and your soul. If there's any tension in the body, just sending the breath there. We're just going to begin to call in the directions. We call in the directions to the east where the sun rises, the south, the west, the north. We call in the heavens above, the celestial court. We call in the inner earth, the realms beneath us, Agartha, crystalline beings. And we connect with our heart, with our core, our truth, inviting our I am presence to come forth. Breathing in, and exhaling, sighing, releasing any pressure, any tension. Just creating a nice hum, buzzing through the body. Breathing in, center of the earth, feeling her warmth, her love, feeling the connection to all of the elements, fire, earth, water, and air as you breathe.
Red Dragons. Into our consciousness. safe. You can let go of any fear, let go of any doubt, and let go of any expectations as you are simply here to be, experience, but also to send love throughout the planet, through the consciousness, with the aid of the divine dragons, helping us liberate ourselves and liberate the planet Whew. awakening the divine dragons within us tarika sun tareshate tareka sentar kuate mate to the core of earth we now activate our light body to move this energy into the heavens so we move this mineral of love and light through the core of our being through our essence raising it through our body into our third eye seeing this light amplify it through the body as we move it out the crown of our head we see ourselves rising around the planet along with thousands millions of other souls who are helping to do this work activating the consciousness of mother earth the divine dragons flying around supporting us we go to the heavens now through the stars, going out, way, way out. We can see the earth shining. It's a blue pebble, beautiful lands. We see the sun, the moon, and the other planets. consciousness of the cosmos, the universe. We call in the galactic dragons. dragons and legions of masters we join them so you direct all the love of the cosmos towards the planet we send love to our skies we send our breath to our skies clearing the air clearing the pollution clearing the toxicity we send our intention for clarity for cleansing to the waters of the earth uh, we send our breath 
into the earth, into the soil, asking for clean soil to return. With the assistance of the divine dragons here and now, we awaken the kundalini of the earth to awaken the consciousness, to awaken all hearts, awaken all souls, to remembering that they are not separate from their earth. They are not separate from one another. We are not separate from the divine beings. We must remember who we are and who we came to be. Take a deep breath in and allow the dragon to awaken within you, releasing any sighs, growls, inviting your power to return as you anchor this energy in the body. Coming back to the planet. Taking note of any messages you received, grounding them in. I'm beginning to lightly massage the body again, rolling the shoulders. Neck. Coming back to the here and now. I'm just wanting to share some important messages that I received this morning was that with this new awareness and being awake, we have a responsibility, a divine responsibility to share our truth with others. And this doesn't need to be in a huge, spectacular way, but we need to be willing and unapologetic about sharing our truth. And this is the dragon consciousness that wants to come through us. So we are no longer sheep, we are no longer following restrictive orders that are placed on us by those that actually have no power over us. We must claim our stake and our power, not just for ourselves, but for the future generations coming to this planet. We're here to remember who we are and remind others of who they are. And we're here to remember how to work with the elements and how to remember to listen to nature there, I woke up today and went outside and noticed a lot of chemtrails in the sky. Normally I don't allow these to bother me or think too much about them. But I was told that we can clear these. And we can do it alone if we really activate our power and are really attuned in with ourselves and with nature. But we can do this a lot easier when we come together with our intentions together to do this and to shift consciousness and ripple and help awaken those that do not know what they do. But we must have forgiveness in our hearts for those who act unconsciously and act simply by the orders they received. We must hold forgiveness and compassion for them as well. But now that you have awakened this dragon consciousness within you, we have responsibility to be an advocate for the earth and for those who do not have a voice. So thank you all for being present here today and, and choosing to activate this power within you and choosing to be an advocate for the earth that is our shared consciousness. And if anyone would like to share or um, has any questions, um, please do so.
And you can do that by, I can unmute you if you, um, I think if you raise your hand or something, I can unmute you. Um, so right now Florian is in my um, six week program and we are working with the divine dragons and it's this whole process is just being fully guided and channeled through me the information that is most important to share um, but this week we're working with the elemental dragons and then we will be working with the galactic dragons and tuning into the messages that they have for us um and florian i would love it if you wanted to share something because i knew you mentioned that uh tiamat had came through and and you were able to do a clearing yesterday so you can share with the others what what this work is about and, and what you're experiencing so far <laughs> Basically, I visited some lakes near the because of the great into water. And basically, I saw some visions like of a black dragon, a dragon, and also been connecting to the goddess Pyramid, which is basically a dragon. And I went, yeah, about this meditation, so. Um, I feel strong dragon energies in me and also very much of it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, Tiamat, Tiamat in the Sumerian text is one of the first dragons recorded. Um, and so she represents this massively powerful divine feminine energy. And part of the reason that dragons have been seen to be slayed in uh, many cultures, um, but specifically like European cultures, well, one aspect of this is because they could have been wanting to slay Asia and slay these countries because the dragon represented those countries. But another aspect of this is that it was the dominance over the feminine energies because the dragons represent the most fierce most powerful aspect of the feminine and this aspect of the feminine is what wants to really come through again because we haven't really given the earth her own voice we've we've just kind of taken and and kind of made her submit and do what we wanted for our own selfish reasons and the industrial age and technology and everything, which has its place. All of this has its place. It's not really for us to be here and judge all of it um, and say we're wrong because that would be us judging ourselves as humanity. We have to also you know, recognize there is order in the chaos and, and there's a reason for all of it and the awakening and expanding of consciousness wouldn't have happened without these certain things but now it's time to give the dragon the mother dragon her voice back and give the earth her voice back and, and learn to listen to her and what what she's saying because the world can become such a beautiful magical place that where we're co-creating with the elements and i believe that the future generations coming in uh, they're already very conscious and awake but they're going to be able to have very special gifts where they're really in tune with nature and it's up to us who are already here to make sure we're supporting these souls as they're coming in so that they can help um, this new phase of humanity this new phase of evolution that wants to happen but in the Hopi prophecies um, basically what's happening is this is the end of the fourth world and in, we're moving into the fifth world and they said that at the end of the fourth world humanity would basically be destroying itself and hurting its earth and, and lost contact so whatever happens whatever we see over the next uh coming days and and, and over the next coming years we have to know how to hold our center and hold our power and not get persuaded by the masses and our choices to learn to really trust our own intuition and have our own discernment 
And that's why it's important to activate these divine dragons within yourself, within your own consciousness, to be able to have that powerful, strong discernment and not get swayed into other people's belief systems. Know what's true for you. So yeah, again, um, I just wanted to share um, with the six week, six week course we're doing, um, there's still space if anybody wanted to join in and, and keep receiving from that. But also um, after that's done, I will turn it into a course so you'll be able to receive um, some of the recordings and um, meditations and things that we're doing in that space. And I also uh, do dragon one-on-one -on -one activations as well as Akashic record readings. So I just wanna make that available to you all if you wanna go further in this or understanding the role of the divine dragons in your life and why you're drawn to this and, and what attracted you here in the first place. Um, Cause I'd love to create more of a network where we can all share and we can all empower each other and, and work together to continue planting these seeds of consciousness for future generations and eventually we can come together and do these clearings of the sky and of the waters together. It's already happening in, in many groups, um, but uh, just sharing this, this consciousness together in, in person even is, is more powerful. So that's something I'm just planting the seed of wanting to be able to do over the next year. And so I'm going to some of these uh, poor, powerful spots that are portals for activation. I'm, I'm here in Sedona, which is a pretty powerful uh, location. It's, it's where the dragon consciousness has really came through for me. But there's beautiful locations all over the earth. So I encourage you all to um, take what you received here and allow it to integrate by taking some time to yourself in nature um, and maybe just journaling with the divine dragons or just having a conversation. What is this about? Or, or you know, why am I attracted to this? And how can I bring this into my life more? Maybe some of you here are some type of healers or energy workers. Um, the dragons can help you in that work and really tuning into the elemental aspects of them when you're clearing someone's energy or that kind of thing. So... All right, I'm going to wrap it up, uh, but if anyone has any questions or want to share, now's the time. Okay, let's see. Um, hold on, Todd, let's see. I'm going to unmute you. There you go. <laughs> Is it okay? Yeah. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So this dragon consciousness within, um. I don't really understand that. It's like, I'm, I'm very drawn to this, but I don't really understand dragon consciousness within. Is it like a kundalini kind of activation, or um? I find it very fascinating. I just don't really understand it. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe essentially for me um the dragon represents the ascended form of the kundalini. Yes. So Ooh. the ascension of the serpent. So rising mm. from our lower dense aspects of self where we're disempowered and we're basically um, so root oriented, we're in our mammalian brain, but then we have our reptilian brain also, which has been not so good, you know, very, um, judged and perceived in a negative way. And this is like the liberation of that aspect of our consciousness, because the one thing is the reptilian brain has allowed us to survive. It's taught us our fight or flight situation. So the dragons represent the ascended form of this reptilian mind where we're no longer um, fighting, but we have the precision focus. We have this laser focus where we're able to see things before they happen. We're able to 
almost like imagine if your body had eyes all over it. These represent like the meridians that run through the body of consciousness. And this is a parallel reflection of our earth because our earth also has this body and this dragon kundalini moving through it as we do and learning to stir this energy in our body and activate this energy in our body helps awaken our truth awaken our power again so we are no longer subject to outside influences where we're being controlled and we're being programmed by media and whatever other programming they're putting out there so if, as far as the dragons, it's really um, our imagination also expanded, allowing our inner child to imagine that this being, this, this form, this form of a being exists and exists within us and allowing ourselves to feel that, that power and uh, that limitlessness allows for our sure. own expansion. Gotcha, yeah. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah, all right. Cool. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah, you. yeah, thank you for uh, Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I was assuming it was connected with Kundalini, but I wasn't sure. Just, I'm just really drawn to this kind of work, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, anyone else have any, any questions or want to share? I'm trying to figure out how this unmuting works. Okay. I think I unmute myself. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I just wanted to share my apologies. I just wanted to share how you came across into my field. TikTok is an amazing place. This is my first time experiencing you at all. And the dragons are always with me. They also know that I ignore them a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. So it was very fascinating to me how you just came across my feed last night. And the, I didn't hesitate. I saw a dragon and I signed up and I said, this is where I need to be. And it's been, it was an incredibly powerful experience. They're still sitting like right here in this space. I wanted to thank you mm. for the service work that you do. It's very powerful. I just wanted to share that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, TikTok has been a really fun <laughs> space for me to be able to share this on. And um, I've been sharing other works that I do through YouTube and Instagram over the years, but something came through me and was like, you need to just share about dragons now. And so I've just been going with the dragon consciousness and it's been really strong and really powerful. So I'm really grateful for everyone who's receiving it and connecting with it. And um, it's it's really fun to see how how this is net, weaving through this network and we're using these platforms like this for consciousness and for uh for change and transformation because there's also you know the other side of these social media platforms that don't have good energy so i feel like we got to balance it out and and bring forth the truth and especially again to the young people that need to see some real talk <laughs> All right. Well, um, if if anyone else wants to talk, I think you have to unmute yourself. Adrian, Ildiko, <laughs> but my man is uh, my man is Adrian. Okay, husband, my husband. I am Ildiko. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yeah. I want to ask um, a question. How do you know that you activated the dragon? Mm. now right now mm -hmm. well i know that it's already activated within myself but for you that's something that you have to decide for you um but to me what it will feel like is simply a, a connection 
to source. It's a, just a connection to your truth, your presence. And I think we're all going to have this experience in, in different ways. I'll tell you when I first came online with experiencing this consciousness, it was very powerful. It was very much like, I'm here, I, I want to be heard, I want to be seen, and I want to be felt. And it was this expansion through my body and deep breathing, like, <sighs> and I felt like my energy was bigger than it ever had been, and I, I was allowed to take up space. So for you on a personal level, you have to allow yourself to take up space and, and have this activation in your own space. If you're not, you know, if you're just kind of like, okay, this is interesting, but you're not totally feeling it. This is going to, this is a journey of, of development and allowing your, your energy to get bigger because a lot of us have been, you know, repressed and we're acting how everyone else wants us to be. And so that we have a good impression on society and we're not allowing ourselves to be fully expressive. So for example, something that I will do on my own, um, because I, I sing and I, you know, will allow channeling to happen and I allow these frequencies to come through me. But I didn't get to that place just naturally and, and just being like, well, I'm gonna just channel angels now and sing high frequencies. I had to actually uh, go out in, into nature and I had to scream and I had to roar and I had to release this pent up energy inside me, anger, hatred, all these things that need to come to surface. Uh, it, as taking responsibility for your own energy, you have to give yourself the space to allow those emotions and those things to be released from your body. And then being able to reach these heightened states of consciousness, like having a kundalini awakening or kundalini activation or, or feeling just like in, in these states of bliss or nirvana consciousness, those don't just come without feeling the other, as the other side of it too. And that's our duality and experiencing all ranges of, of our, um, our emotion. So this activation that took place today is something that I simply am sharing with you the energy of my experience of it. And I'm inviting my dragons, I'm inviting my experience of dragon consciousness to come and work with you if you want it, if you're open to it, if you're receptive, it's up to you to be receptive, you know, and have your own discernment, of course, and what feels aligned for you. But then just take what you experienced here today and integrate it in your own life and whatever feels good. And that could mean, well, maybe you need to activate your own dragon energy more by moving your body more or or having a deeper meditative practice, or uh, letting out some repressed emotions, speaking your truth to someone that you haven't, maybe that you've hold, been holding back and you haven't really let them know you, how you feel. So it can look in many different ways. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Before we sign out. Cool. Thank you all so much for just allowing and, and being receptive and being curious and being interested. Um, one more thing I want to share is that um, that basically in, in moving this consciousness forward of the dragon again it's supposed to be fun <laughs> and it's supposed to be playful and it's supposed to allow our curiosity and our imagination to run wild and it's supposed to allow us to to dream and and to have uh, bigger aspirations for ourselves and to dream that we could be a dragon that we could fly and that we could live in, in the earth and that we could fly through the cosmos and this type of thinking that we had when we were children 
is what allows our expansion and our evolution is our imagination so reclaiming our imagination and that's that's a big message from the dragons is allowing ourselves to dream and imagine that all kinds of things are possible and that we are limitless limitless creators so again okay i'm gonna um just leave a note here um, Yeah, if anyone wants to join or uh, receive any offers from me or join our uh, six-week program, you can just message me directly and then I have a code that I'm going to give everyone who joined um, 20% off. It, won't, it will work after this live, so I'll have to put it in. So if anyone's interested in doing a follow-up or learning more one-on-one -on -one or joining um, the group program, that is it, Dragon 111. So, okay, I'm going to end it here unless anyone else has any questions, but um, just sending you all so much love, gratitude, and appreciation. And uh, I will do another one of these. Um, I'm not sure the date yet. Today is 22. I will probably do another activation similar to this on the second, 12-2. So we'll keep these um, these numbers going while we still are in 2022 before these numbers codes are, are done with. And uh, just something on the number codes and sequences, they really only have um, energy and importance because we give it to them. And, you know, of course, we're going off of the Gregorian calendar and we're the ones giving the significance to these codes. But... There are people, because the consciousness is high, because many groups of people are doing it, it brings a, an energy and it a, collects, sorry, it um, energizes the collective consciousness of those who are putting energy and intention in on those days. And that's a big, big part of the next phase that we're moving it here into is we've all done a lot of self work and a lot of growth in our own spiritual practices. Um, but it's time for us to do it as a collective and as a community and support each other as a family. One family, one earth, one heart. All right, I'm going to sign off now. I'm sending you all so much love, gratitude, and joy, and look forward to seeing you again. Ciao. <laughs>